Tracker was born out of, and continues to foster, the simple, agile process that we employ at Pivotal Labs. There are few core features. Write stories that define your product, then estimate the amount of effort they entail. Drag them into place to prioritize, and use these buttons to indicate your progress. Inviting collaborators takes place on the Members page. For a discussion of Tracker Basics and the Agile workflow, please watch the introductory screencast. Now let's spend a few minutes learning some slightly more advanced techniques. We'll start with project organization, delve into story manipulation, and then briefly review search tips before explaining how to send us your feedback. On the dashboard, this activity feed summarizes what's been happening in all of your projects. If a story title or a comment gets truncated, hover for the full text. Organize your projects into any number of accounts. You can add owners and administrators to any account you own. Projects can be moved from one account to another, and you can leave a project as long as you're not its only owner. There's a project drop-down menu here, and you can also turn on a tab bar with your seven most recent projects. You can't delete projects, but you can archive them. You'll be able to view but not adjust the stories until you unarchive. If you want to see, show, or play with an example, a demo project may fit the bill. In the Stories view, check out the History panel. Open it from the View menu or by typing Shift-H, and you can see the live updates roll in. The backlog shows all iterations except the current one. We find that the current panel helps us focus, but you can also display the current iteration in the backlog if that is more intuitive for you. If a release has a deadline and your velocity isn't high enough to hit it, the release will turn red. The deadline, if you choose to set one, is displayed at the bottom of the iteration in which it falls. When team members go on vacation, you can adjust the iteration's team strength to keep velocity calculations accurate. View a hypothetical timeline by overriding your velocity. Keep in mind that this is a private, temporary change. Your velocity will continue to be based upon your team's performance in recent iterations. Browse finished iterations in the Done panel. You can choose how many are displayed, although this may affect how quickly your project loads, and there is a Show All link. These buttons expand and collapse all iterations, which also works in the backlog. Tracker remembers which panels you last had open and opens them when you return. If you turn off this behavior, you'll be greeted with current in the backlog. The progress report shows the time that elapsed between each event in a story's life cycle in a printable format. Customize it to see how long different processes are taking. Now you have plenty of tools for viewing and managing projects. Let's see what all we can do with stories. To view a story's description, tasks, comments, and attachments, hover over this icon on the left side. You can expand a story by double-clicking it or clicking the triangle. Attach files with this form right below the comment box. Once a file is uploaded, you can add a description if you choose. You'll also find a permalink here to help you direct others to the story. To view the history of an individual story, press this button. Label a story with this menu, and remove labels down here. You can also apply labels to multiple stories at once with the Actions menu. If you enter a story that you heard from someone else, you might set them as the requester. You can also set an owner if you know who will be responsible for completing it. Otherwise, whoever starts the story will become its owner. To assign more than three points to some stories, change your points skill. If you start a story that's in the backlog or icebox, it will jump into the current iteration. If you decide to move it back, you will have to change its state back to unstarted. Include a story in a release by dragging it onto the releases pane. It moves directly above the release. 
Here's an alternative way to prioritize stories. Select them and move to the top or bottom of the backlog from the Actions menu. This allows you to move multiple stories or use interfaces such as the iPhone that don't support dragging. You can export stories to a CSV file in a group or all at once. This is how you move stories from one project to another. Import can handle a CSV or a plain text file with a story title on each line. CSV files are compatible with a huge range of systems, including any spreadsheet application. When organizing a lengthy icebox or backlog, you can clone the panel to cut down on scrolling. Several of the other panels can also be cloned. If commit mode is enabled and you turn it on, you can then put any number of stories into the current iteration. When the next iteration begins, commit mode will be off. Unestimated stories count as zero points. When you estimate them, your iteration boundaries will move. Most stories are features as they provide customer visible business value. The rest are bugs or chores. Chores don't need to be delivered or accepted after they are finished, and neither chores nor bugs are worth any points, although that can be enabled. Releases are also treated as a type of story, so remember to click Finish when you release. If your project has story tasks enabled, you can add tasks to stories and check off when they are complete. Tasks can be reordered, edited, and deleted. To add details like whether you've started a task, how long it took, or who you think should tackle it, just add them to the task's description. Tracker has a powerful search syntax. Make it a part of your workflow to save time as your project grows. Pin search results to keep them in view while you search for more things. Saved searches are listed with your labels in this panel. Clicking a label searches for that label, and clicking someone's initials will show what they are working on. The Reveal button highlights the story wherever in the backlog or icebox it may be. Revealing stories in context is also possible from the History and My Work panels. Email notifications are available for comments as well as for the bigger events in the story lifecycle. You can have a username, but your full name will still be used on Stories. The username is just for logging in. Keyboard shortcuts are shown in this window, which you can open by typing a question mark. Using these techniques will help you adhere to a productive, agile workflow. To learn even more, join us at a Tracker user group, or start one in your city. Please let us know what your Tracker experience is like. Our forums at GetSatisfaction.com are the best place for sharing your questions and suggestions. If you like an idea you see there, click the star because we pay close attention to how many of our users do so. Thanks so much for using Tracker and being part of our community. We hope you will continue to do so for many years.